Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 71 of Flea Market Video Game Hunting. So this was about a month ago now and I'm barely editing the video, but with this guy I ended up picking up Little Big Planet for $10. I saw the price at GameStop and it's like $15 with the Elite Pro I think. And plus tax because you know the taxes so I said in my head I saw this a couple weeks back I said in my head if he wanted $10 I was gonna take it and the price was $10 so I ended up taking it I haven't played it so I might as well just pay the 10 so I can play it and with this lady I ended up finding a Game Boy Advance game behind the glass so I asked her about the Game Boy games and I think she said or I think she heard I asked her for the DS consoles that she had in there I think she wanted 30 bucks a piece for those but I paid three dollars for this and somebody in the comments said they wanted to see the transaction or they wanted to hear one or the other so I decided to put that in there now I'm not gonna put all the transactions in here as you guys can see but let me know if you want to see that or not I could put that in there if you'd like but, you know, I tell you guys what the prices are either way. So, I picked up Magical Quest 2 starring Mickey and Minnie with a lady, the Game Boy Advance game. And at this booth, this lady wanted two for eight on the NES games. So, I was looking at them and looking at them and looking at them until finally I got up the courage to say, would you take six for these two? And she ended up saying yes. I know that I don't really, you know do a lot of deals but honestly i think the prices are good the way they give them to me obviously here i was kind of thinking about it because they're nes games i don't know much about nes games you guys said pick up nes games when i was picking them up at they were five dollars a piece you guys said that was a good price so i just decided two for six would be a better price for these so they were two for six i don't know why this was re-shrink wrapped i guess they were selling it but it looks really sunburned let me know if it is sunburned or if it's just me that thinks it's sunburned because i don't i haven't seen that game before so at this booth I was looking at the games and I ended up trading this and another thing which I will tell you when I pick it up but I ended up training Wii Sports Resort so you guys will have a nice video for the thrift trader shop because I've been picking up a lot of PS4 games with the trading credit that I get from GameStop so anyways I picked up Wii Sports Resort which I have picked up I think I picked that up than last flea market video but i'm not really sure on that so i was looking and i in my head i saw all these games and sometimes when people have a lot of games they know what they want they know their prices so i wanted to get this game but i didn't end up getting that game maybe i should have asked but i asked him what the price was and he said five dollars now this is near a freeway and it was really windy that day so I thought he said five dollars each now I was gonna pay five dollars each but you guys will see I left the transaction in the video he told me uh no five dollars for both and I really like that he said that because honestly if it was somebody else he would have probably taken that and you know i i mean i gave him ten dollars i he could have taken those so anyways i just left the transaction in there so he wanted five dollars for both of those so i thought that was a better deal than five dollars each i was really thinking about it because i wanted wii sports resort to trade in at gamestop so yeah he was very nice in giving me the five dollars back which i spent that on this which is coming up i found a wiimote controller no uh what's it called no motion control in there yeah no motion control but i had the nunchuck i ended up trading the wii controller i kept the nunchuck i have a lot of nunchucks before when i first got the wii i didn't have any nunchucks and now i have nunchucks to spare so anyways that's the last thing i picked up that was five dollars and without further ado guys let's get into the pickups Hey 
guys, hope you're all having a great day. So I want to start off with the first game that I picked up at the flea market. So this was $10. And if most of you know what this price is at GameStop, it's about 17 bucks. But if you're an elite pro member, you get it for like 15 plus change and tax, of course. So I pretty much saved the $5 plus tax on this by getting it at the flea market. And I just thought that was a great deal. I did see it there weeks ago. Um, and nobody has gotten the game, so I decided if it was going to be $10, I was going to pick it up, and it was exactly $10, and here is the cover art for the inside. I know in this game they introduced new characters, but I will be Sackboy because I love Sackboy. As you guys can see, I have a Sackboy up here. I also have one over here that used to be up there, but I moved him. And I have like bookends, which they're over there too, which I used to have up here, but I just love Sackboy. And I can't wait to play this game because I have not played it. So I did play one and two. I remember playing one on my PSP and two on the PS3. So here we go. I don't know if there'll be motion controls in this or it'll be mostly touchpad. I guess it does tell you. Oh yeah, motion control compatible, navigation controller. Oh, I guess you can use the motion control with your camera, I'm guessing. And it says remote play. Obviously, all, well, mostly all the games have remote play. So $10 for this. Let me know if you would have spent $10 for this or not. I just thought since I'm looking for PS4 games since I'm streaming on the PS4 now, I got to start up my PS4 collection. You know what I'm talking about? So the next game that I picked up, this was $3. Honestly, after the Little Big Planet game, uh, there's pretty much two sections of that flea market and the top section I only found that Little Big Planet 3 game so I was kind of like oh no if am I gonna find enough stuff to make a video all right so this is the next game that I picked up sorry if my hands are a bit shaky but I'm trying to look at the screen while I'm holding it in front of the camera so this is the next game that I picked up Magical Quest 2 starring Mickey and Minnie it said Capcom on it so I decided to pick it up so the lady said two for five or one for three and this is the only game that caught my eye so I decided to pick it up and the next games I picked up two NES games they were two for eight she wanted originally but I told her if she could do two for six and she ended up taking the deal so I cleaned these up already. I believe this one was shrink wrap. I'm not, I don't remember if this one was. It was like two weeks ago now that I went and I'm barely doing the pickup portion of this video. But I do think that this game is severely sunburned. I think the letters are supposed to be yellow. The dragon, I don't, I think he's supposed to be green from what I could see here. The a little bit of color that he has left but both of these games will be up for trade if you guys want to trade i have cleaned them already and all of that so you don't got to worry about getting any dirty games because i clean all my stuff so yeah like i said these will be up for trade two for six i just thought that was a great deal this looks pretty fun i really do like pinball games uh, i don't know if it is like actually fun or not it just looks fun and i know like some pictures have like i mean some games have like some awesome pictures but they're really not that fun so let me know if you've played this if you think this is a fun game yeah i like pinball games there's no way of me actually being able to play that though since i don't have an nes so i just want to know if it's fun or not because it really does look cool so the next game that i picked up i picked up wii sports resorts i have my little paper here letting me know everything that i got and all the prices and everything because like i said i'm recording this two weeks after i went to the flea market so i don't remember but I did go to GameStop this day and I traded in a Wii Sports Resort and a Wii controller. So I got these two for $5. I have nine holes of Xmas, which is the first one. I don't know how many they made. So if you know, let me know. This is how it looks. It does have a couple fingerprints here and there and it think it does have scratches yeah a couple light scratches the funny thing about this is i went to the flea market on wednesday and i ended up picking up another copy of this nine more holes of xmas like i said uh i have the first one this is the second one and yeah now i have an extra for anybody that wants to trade for that only on xbox 
this is a little manual i do have the first one but it doesn't really have a manual at all it just has like a little mail-in ballot for blockbuster but i have the second one i don't know how many of these they made maybe they only made two if you know the exact number that they made let me know it says in the back stuff this in your stocking stupid wow right there on the snowflake it says that so i have not played the first one that i have because i don't have my original xbox connected but it isn't only on xbox games so is the other one and it is a blockbuster exclusive Ugh, blockbuster blockbuster so the next thing that i picked up at the flea market was this this minus the Wii controller, like I said, so I paid $5 for both the nunchuck and the Wii controller. I was going to the GameStop anyways to go and trade in, so I decided, yeah, why not pick it up? I probably should have traded this only because it's really scratched. And honestly, I already have a bunch of nunchucks. I know there was one point where I had no nunchucks and I really did need one to play a game. But now I have like five or six nunchucks and I don't even use them. Anyways, that was everything that I picked up at the flea market. Let me show you my favorite pickup. It's this. I cannot wait to play it. $10. I know it's a bit pricey, but $10. You can't beat it. I mean, it's a PS4 game, so it's obviously not, not going to be that cheap. I did pick up ratchet and clank one time at the flea market and i believe it was ten dollars as well so ten dollars seems to be the typical price for ps4 games at my local flea market let me know what the typical price is for ps4 games and xbox one games at your local flea market so that was everything that i picked up hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on twitter instagram facebook or twitch the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys i'll see you in my next video